this loss was most troubling to you? Um, just an inconsistency. Um, you know, you you find something that works, um, and then having a difficulty replicating it. Um, I thought defensively, you know, the other night we executed the game plan. We were extremely sound. Uh, made it difficult, and tonight. Um, you know, we didn't execute the game plan. Uh, we didn't protect our paint. You know, you allow a team to shoot 60% from the field, almost 50% from three. Um, you know, they're, they're not feeling you enough. And, you know, if you allow people in teams like this with the firepower that they have to play freely, you know, they're going to get it going. Um, you know, they were obviously energized here at home, um, but you know, that's no excuse for us to defend the way that we defended tonight. On the other side, how can you get the team into a more offensive flow? Does it have to do with the defense? I mean, we scored 120 points. You know, this this wasn't about offense for us. Um, you know, we, we've got a decision to make as a group. You know, uh, is the defense going to be our priority? And are we going to commit to that side of the ball? Um, you know, too many of our losses, we come in here and it's the same thing. You know, it's a question about our defense and our commitment to our defense and execution of our defense. So, um, you know, again, 120 points is a plenty to win a basketball game. Yeah, you give up 132, uh, it's hard to overcome. JB, why hasn't the defense been a priority early this season? Um, you know, I, I think there is, you know, People still learning um, what it is that we do defensively. Um, you know, I think we have to accept challenges. Um, you know, we have to be more physical. We have to be more scrappy, um, and we've shown we can do it. And I think that's the frustrating part. Is you know, there's been the nights where we've been really good defensively, um, but playing defense at the level we need to play in this league is extremely difficult to do it. Um, but we've got no choice. Um, you know, if we want to win at the level that we say we want to win at, um, it's going to start on the defensive end for us, and we've got to find that. Is it starting to feel like you're saying the same things and they're just not being heard at this point? No, I, I think the guys know it. You know, there's no doubt about it. They understand it. Um, you know, it's a matter, again, of us finding the consistency in it and not overthinking it. And you know it's early in the season. We played ten games now. You know I don't know how many games we played. You know completely whole, um, but you know we've got the choice. And I think that's the thing. It's like we've got the talent. We've got the ability. Uh, we need to go out and do it. And that's what it is. What went into the decision to not play Jarrett in the fourth quarter? Um, I was just trying to play a smaller lineup to see if we could find some more space. Um, you know, I didn't think we did a great job protecting our paint um, with the way that they were uh, spreading the floor on us with the five out stuff. Um, so, you know, try to find more space, you know, and hope that we could find a way to just generate some points. I think, um, you know, and that's what it was. Uh, Coach, you preach consistency all year. Uh, was this kind of maybe a letdown from a big emotional win? What do you put in it? I mean, you, it, you know, it, it's an 82-game schedule, and the best teams are the teams that perform their best most nights. Um, you know, go back, watch the film. You know, we'll talk to the guys, try to figure it out. But you know, we have not competed at a defensive level that we're accustomed to. And again. Um, you know, we'll take a look at things systematically and find out if there's, you know, answers that maybe our personnel is a little bit different. So maybe that's what, um, you know, changes we need to make. But, um, you know, we know our defense works. So we've just got to do the job of executing it. What will it take, JB, to, to compete at that level defensively? Uh, I mean, just the willingness and commitment to it. Uh, that's what it is, you know. And again, I, I do feel, and I, you know, that you know, it's not easy. And you know, when you're thinking and you're hesitating, it puts you a step behind. 
Um, so again, just getting comfortable in what we're doing and how we execute it, uh, take the thought out of it, and just go out and compete and don't overthink it. Um, you know, which I think is happening to us a little bit now also. You were talking about the points in the paint that you allowed. You also gave up 60 from three-point range. What went into that? Uh, when you give up the paint, you overreact. And when you overreact, um, you know, that tends to lead to open threes. And, again, and they give them credit. I mean, they shot the ball extremely well. Um, but, you know, I thought their tempo and pace and movement off of things uh, caught us off guard. And it allowed them to get – wide open shots for guys that you know they wanted to get the ball in their hands. Okay.